it's just fucking crazy what it feels like to face your fears and traumas. You can't see it on the outside, but the inside world is so intense. I'm so glad I'm doing this and I hope I can be an inspiring person to other people to also face their demons and fears and all shit that happens in this thing called life. I never really thought that it would be this difficult to make this video. I was so wrong. The last few days has been like a crazy emotional roller coaster. 25 years. It's a long time. It's this one thing I've been trying to hide from the world and most of all trying to hide it from myself. And it's the most stupid and superficial thing. It's fucking hair. I've had a bad hair day for 25 years. Um, so, story time. I was born 1987, totally fine. No health issues, no nothing. Perfect kid. Life seemed great. Five years later, my father died. This is the last picture of us. Pretty traumatic. A few years later, my mom's new boyfriend died. And then, spring of 1997, that's when suddenly my hair just fell off. One day, pretty ordinary day from what I can remember, I take a shower. I get out of the shower and start drying my hair with a towel. And this is the craziest thing. My hair just fell off. Like straight off. And my towel was full of hair. And it's this what the fuck moment. And of course, my mom is also alive fuck is happening with this with this boy so long story short the next I think five years all kind of treatments all kind of doctors therapy Chinese medicine you name it whatever you can find a lot of money spent on this thing and nobody can really tell anything about it except that it's a thing called alopecia and it's an autoimmune disease disorder what you want to call it so basically it's the immune system starts attacking some parts of the body because of something that nobody really knows it said it can be like trauma, it can be something about the environment. It's like just guesses. The speculations was from fucking Chernobyl nuclear <laughs> accident to childhood traumas. A big possibility is that my father died on a vacation we took just one night. So that was pretty traumatic, but it still doesn't explain why the hair just falls off. And at the moment I'm in a pretty good situation because I've started to heal myself and started to dig around the internet. I've seen a lot of progress the last maybe two years. I have a lot of new hair growth coming up and that's that's pretty amazing after 25 years 
of living with something you don't accept. There is one person I want to give a special thank you to, and that's my mom. I don't know what would have happened if she didn't support me the way she did. I feel like she did everything she could. Thank you, mom. The whole point why I'm making this video now is I feel like I'm going through a kind of transformation. I'm really starting to accept myself even if I have whatever. I don't give a shit anymore. When you live in a constant shame of yourself, like it can be whatever. And I, I think many people struggle with similar issues. There's no point in doing it, but still we do it because we compare ourselves to other people, to how they look. And, and if we don't fit in, we feel like we are some kind of weirdos, but everybody's weirdos in some kind of way. So I want to free myself from this but I also want to inspire other people who have like even the slightest thing that you're ashamed of that controls your life that you feel that you're not completely free I want to be free I want you to be free just fucking be who you are and be proud of yourself I can say at this stage of my life I'm really proud of myself since I was 15, I'm 35 now. I've been like consciously and unconsciously only doing things where I can hide my hair. All the sports, all the things where I can use a hat or something like that, I would do it. But all the things that was out of my comfort zone, I just didn't do them. And it's kind of sad you put yourself in a cage that you don't really need. You do it because you think what other people might maybe think of you because of your own fears. And s One big reason that really gave me the courage to do this and to like face the world is my son. I want to be a good example that even if you're whatever, it doesn't matter if you just be yourself and be proud of yourself, be grateful what you have. All these outside things, hair, skin color, nose, ears, whatever, it doesn't really matter because what's here and what's here matters so much more. I hope you got something out of this that you get the courage and get inspired to face your insecurities. As long as you're breathing and functioning, that's enough. Don't talk yourself down. You should be your best friend. And when you realize that, your life becomes so much better. And I'm, I'm proof of that. I feel so much better. Even like doing this, six months ago, I would never, ever, ever have thought that I could do this. It felt like, no way, I'm not. Nope, 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 nope. That topic, I don't touch. And now, no problem. And if you want to hide, that's totally okay. I felt okay with it for so long, like 20 years. But when you step out of that cage, I think that's when life really begins. If you want to know more about this alopecia thing and how I've kind of managed to really get this to a better state, just comment and let's see if I make a make another video where I go deeply into all, the whole process, what I've been doing. But this is just supposed to be like an inspire and encouraging thing to free yourself from your own self disbeliefs you are your own worst enemy and when you conquer that you're unstoppable 
and <laughs> I don't know with you but I want to be unstoppable <laughs> thanks for watching if you like this content like the video if you want to follow my journey subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in another video peace out Bad hair day for 25 years. Fuck it.